Hey guys, how you going? I'm um, about to start off this new video. We're going for, um, I'm going away for a week, eight days or so. We've got a um, family holiday starting off first, going to Nelson Bay with family for three nights. And then, um, yeah, on our way back from Nelson Bay, we stop at Sydney, I'll hop back in my ute and um, take off to the airport. And we're flying out to uh, South Australia, flying Adelaide to meet up with uh, Hainsey, Joshua Haynes. And um, yeah, from there it's gonna be pretty full on. We're gonna have a 10 hour drive to um, the station where we'll be hunting uh, bull camels. And I'm like, yeah, yeah it's bloody gonna be an insane hunt. Never hunted camels, it's gonna be very, 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 very bloody interesting to see. And uh, to be a part of it. The property is out towards the end where uh, the Nullarbor is. I think we're crossing into WA as well. And um, we have a dingo, like the dog fences and all that. So I'm really pumped to see all that sort of stuff. Um, I've read so much about it. So it's going to be awesome to go actually see that with my eyes. I'm really, really excited just to see the countryside, even if I don't even get on a camel. And uh, Haynes do have his rifles and that. So I reckon they'll be laying into them. I'm going to try with the bow. I've got all the stuff in the back. So I'll have a crack with the bow. Um, if that works out all good. Um, yeah, so I started the journey. Just left home about 10, 15 minutes ago. And um, yeah, we'll get cracking into it. I'll keep you guys posted on how it all happens. Oh, g'day guys, buddy. Made to South Australia. Just waiting for um, a yeah, pickup or going out to where I do get picked up from, I think. Not 100% sure, buddy. A bit brisky, Eddie. You know, I made up with Hainsey coming to pick me up and um, yeah, we're gonna get smashing into these buddy, these camels, hopefully. But yeah, it's gonna be a pretty wild trip. Um, got a 10 hour drive ahead of us tonight, so it's gonna be pretty bloody wild. Yeah, we're just cruising out here and um, yeah, wait till H Hainsey gets here, picks us up and we'll bloody get stuck into it, eh? Filled up with fuel, about to head out to the station from here and um, get over the border in WA. Yeah, it's absolute crazy vastness out here. I've never seen anything like it. It's just as far as the eye can see. Absolutely incredible out there. It's been easy there, like I said, we're a bit bloody buggered, but um, yeah, things are only going to get better from here and really start heating up. And, um, yeah, we'll get proper stuck into it. We've seen some epic stuff already. I got some mad clips on that. We're probably into a montage or something. But yeah, we'll bloody keep on trekking along, doing what we're doing. And um, yeah, when we get to the station, we'll um, flick these cameras back on. And Haynes, you probably get the gun out. And um, yeah, we'll see if we can get on the good mob of camels or something where we can attack them with the bow. If not, yeah, we'll just do a bit of shooting and that. The boys got um, Haynes' brother and his mate with him. and. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a pretty good time, I reckon. So stay tuned and um, yeah, wait for this action to unfold, mate. Sleep first day. <laughs> no, that's right, we bloody didn't sleep at all the first day, like I said before. We um, drove through it all night to get out here. We woke up this morning in Western Australia, and now we're back in um, South Australia, as you can see. 
And there's a, um, Josh just knocked a nice rabbit for an eater, but stupid me, I'll put the GoPro on the dash, not in my friggin' hand. But anyway, <laughs> hopefully we get another one. And um, yeah, we'll keep you guys updated through the day. And then hopefully we come on some cabbles or some wild dogs or something, and um, yeah, see what we can make happen with them. Yeah, see what today brings. Happy days. Happy days, mate. Yeah, we'll shoot the big ball, then we'll get two meaties, eh? Got some good edible ones I'm in wee doo doo. Yeah, he's gonna shoot the ball. Quick, Brett. Nice. <laughs> Your first camel, mate. Eh? <laughs> How good's that? <laughs> Snow was his first one. Here you go. Oh, there we go. Um been driving for 1,600 <laughs> kilometres and main Ainsy here. Ah, <laughs> yes. We just saw a first lot of camels. Pull up for a sec, actually, Ainsy. Yeah, I will. Yeah, and I'm um, yeah. sorry, guys, I'm going to switch it to the camera. I'll cut you in there. Oh, there you have it, guys. First bull camel on the ground. Um, there he is, rifle for the first one. Just to get it done out here on this bloody uh, desert country we're in. There's bugger all cover out this way, but yeah. Ainsy, what do you reckon, mate? Mate, pumped. <laughs> <laughs> First shot down. Yeah, just a headshot. Um, 2D3 dropped him on, on the spot, took the legs out under him. Uh, Haynes, his brother's just going out to get a meat animal now, and I was saying a bit younger, a bit better. I'm well, pretty sure that we picked the biggest one. Yeah. They're pretty sure it was a bull camel, so yeah, they're up there now getting in the one. And um, yeah, guys, how good is that? I'll bloody pick his back up when we get over there and have a look at him, mate. What's going on, mate? Oh, you know, just um, Haynes, he put us onto the goods, mate. First bull camel. <laughs> He's getting a few camel steaks out of him, mate. How good is it? Can you get over the fat on these Look things? Look at the fat on it. Look at the ground. What the hell are they eating? Yeah. Absolute insane. Still dirt, salt bush, and yeah. Beautiful, delicious back straps coming out and whatever else. And yeah, metwurst, steaks. What do you reckon, Brett? Mate, this is, um, just ticking off bloody list, uh, things off the list this year. And Haynes, he made it happen with this. And mate, just can't get any better. It'd be better when we eat a bit of this, but other than that, happy days. Oh, there you go, guys, buddy. Ball camel down. How yeah, good's that? Buddy, yeah, we shot this under rifle, get some meat for camp and that. And then, yeah, next few days, we'll buddy hopefully go for one with the bow. But yeah, how yeah, good's that? Morning, guys, how's it going? Me and Ainsy back out again. Going. Uh, I'm buddy checking these paddocks, doing a bit of glassing today, and it's about 250,000 acres of country we're in. Uh, a lot of driving, stopping, glassing, and um, the best way to cover the ground out here. Yeah, we get onto a few camels and get a stalk on. We might get lucky and slip an arrow for everyone. Yeah, we we'll just uh, a bit boring driving around and um, glassing everywhere for camel work, but yeah, it's a quick update for you. Yeah, no, we'll catch us when we've got something to look at. All right, we bloody spotted a camel. He's got a bit of a limp on poor bugger, but anyway, we'll try and get up on him and put him out of his bloody misery, I think. But Haynes here on the big camera. Hi, right, guys. And, um, yeah, we got a pretty good wind. We'll just get around in front of him. A bit of country that we're stalking through. Oh, yeah, so there we go. I'll whack this on my head and um, we'll try and get up on him.
Well, I'm just uh, yes, yeah, how's that, eh? He hasn't put us through the ring with a poor bugger. Did him a favour, eh? Yeah, felt pretty bad chasing him, but but he'll either die my way or worse way. Dogs or something pull him down. Yeah. Poor bugger, so. Um, yeah. Well, I'm. Um... It went a bit high, to the look of it to me anyway. And that mare blew through him, it's Harris probably here somewhere. Nap time, Apo. Yeah, no, nap time, mate, 250, yeah, crucifix. That's how I've got it cut. Beautiful. And that's in hard uh, bloody country here in Western Australia and um, that's the colour we like to see our nap times, eh? Yeah, yeah. Alright guys, there's a camera, we just had a few happy snaps, not going to show too much of the blood in that in here. Let's give you a quick look at that blood trail, so, hey, he didn't go very far. So 50 metre shot, and um, he's quartering away, so we tucked it back. In the middle of the ribs here, perfect height there. As you see where it's come out here, at the front of the shoulder, you look at that angle, it went straight for everything. Yeah, that's how, that's what I thought about when you was quartered away a bit and 50 metre shot and yeah, we saw him go down on this GoPro I believe, it was still recording on my head so we're going to wrap that up, um, what have we got, four and a half K? Yep. Walk back, that way, <laughs> right Ainsy. Well done mate. Cheers mate, big shout out again and um, yeah. <laughs> Happy days, we'll leave this fella here and yeah, he's on his last legs anyway, I reckon. Yeah. Poor bugger. We might bloody get the ute and come back for some dog meat, but. Yeah, we'll do that once we get back and find the bloody ute. Shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> try and find it out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe flat, but you can't see very far. It's weird, eh? Yep. And, uh, great experience. Um, big thanks, Haynes, for having me out here. And yeah, this bloody camel's about to roll over, I think. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we're going to start walking and I'll hit up with you later. Yeah, right, guys, bloody checking in again. Just his camera, there we go. Yeah, no, we buddy killed that bull there a fair while back there. I've been driving for a fair few hours, trying to get to the station house, and um, we've gone from really hot, nice and dusty to a mess. She changes quick out here, we've got all the rain. Ainsy, any hey, words, any words of wisdom for, for the video, mate? One extreme the next out here, guys. Um, we had a really good hunt on a bull, even though he was a little bit lame, but Pretty nice one today, just to put him out of his misery, the poor bugger. His old bloody thing too, he had a big mane old, on him too. He had a big mane, he was, if he was a healthy bull, he would have been an absolute donkey of a bull, eh? Mm. Uh, we bloody, now the eyes got a bit of bloody moisture on the lens there. Oop. There we go, that's better. Yeah, so, our uh, plans tonight, going to Homestead, we're going to rough it real hard tonight. we got dongers and the hot chair, I think, so, we'll, Hope so. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll be roughing it. Hopefully, mate, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> last night we last night we got a bit saturated and um yeah, all the swags are really wet and bloody chairs and um yep. we sort of bypassed dinner we had a bit of a mishap there but <laughs> we'll, let, we'll let that one slide i won't tell you about that and um yeah we're just gonna yeah, hopefully hit up this home so we're probably beating what an hour to two hours yeah about two hours we get back there um yeah. catch up some some of the local guys and that she's pretty remote out here but it's really nice Saltbush country, we've seen a fair few animals and yeah, old Brady shot a ball. Yeah mate, we bloody slung an arrow at, a, at one of the big old buggers and um, <laughs> Ainsley put us onto it and we got it done mate, but yeah, like, it's going to be great to make the um, station staff out here. Oh, yeah. yep. like, I assume, I haven't been out in the big station country like this, I've been in some pretty remote joints but um, I'll say the, the staff will be pretty excited to see a few um, new faces up there and we should have a good night, a good dinner, a few beers, a few laughs around the fire or something, but we'll see what this weather does. But yeah, there you go, there's all that saltbush country. Yeah, look at the, look, look at the um, what would you call it, mate? Oh, oh, no. It's just the old blue bush and this weather, sort of. Yeah, I, don't know, I really like it, eh? I've like, got a few trees about it. Um, but anyway, we're having a blast out here. Four and, um, seasons, mate. Yeah, four seasons in one day we've had today. <laughs> Yeah, no, we're having a blast out here in this country with uh, Josh and that, and um, yeah, anyway, we'll keep you guys posted if anything else happens. 
don't know what you're running into out here. Like we said, we've still got a few, you know, maybe two hours to get to where we're going. We might hit another mob of camels or something, we don't know yet. But anyway, cheers to take along on our bloody adventure together. Yeah. And um, yeah, hope you boys are enjoying it, eh? The old comp the, um, Hainsey's in introduction to the channel, mate. <laughs> Hopefully, got a few more videos with him. Bloody great bloke. And yeah, we'll keep on getting it happening for you boys. Right, guys, have a good one. Make it happen. Happy days. Okay, guys, there you go. Made it back to the bloody. Made it back to the airport. And then, as you can see, it's been a bloody long trip, long day. Um, didn't do much vlogging in that. Like it's been raining, and we've been on the road since 3 a.m. It's now five o'clock in the afternoon. And um, yeah, finally made it back to the airport. Um, flight will take off in two hours. And we'll be back in Sydney, and then from Sydney got a four hour drive back home. So it'll be been a big day, big day of travel. Yesterday coming back out of another ball, it was raining the whole bloody time. So, and, um, yeah, big shout out to you, Ainsley, mate, you bloody legend. Um, awesome trip, mate. You looked after me so bloody well. Can't wait to get you down here in New South Wales and um, they'll take you for some bloody mountain hogs and yeah, a bit of good hunting down here. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the series. Sorry, some of the footage is a bit up and down, buddy. Yeah, it's pretty hard because it was driving so bloody far. And, you know, you go 300 kilometres without seeing anything. But uh, it's all bloody worth it, mate. I'll do it again any day of the week. But yeah, getting a bit tired now. And um, we'll wrap it up here. And um, yeah, like always, like and subscribe to the channel. Bloody appreciate it. Thanks heaps for watching this South Australia um, camel bloody hunt with um, me and um, Josh Haynes. So I'll put Haynes' info in the description box, like links to his Instagram and that. And um, yeah, like always, guys, really appreciate the views and that. And um, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.